All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got a back day today. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got another back and tries day, a pull day, if you will. We're headed over to the same gym. We're gonna do some, I don't even know what we're gonna do today. But anyway, hopefully you guys are doing good today. Hopefully you're having a chill day or evening. We finally have a daytime vlog, amen. <laughs> the last few, I think, all have been at night, which is fine, which is fine. I don't mind it, but I know a couple vlogs ago that I said I was gonna do a daytime one, and it just didn't happen, <laughs> which, which is tragic. But, it, you know, it's just sometimes that's how the time plays out. That's, that's sometimes how your day plays out. But yeah, today we got back day today. I think I'm gonna land at the gym, and then we're gonna do some filming for like short form stuff. And that should be good. Hopefully you can get some of that posted up and edited too. So that's that's exciting. I'm trying to post daily shorts, but I'm trying to like, I, I'm thinking more and more it's gonna come down to a point. Cause sometimes, sometimes it's not original content, right? So sometimes I'm taking old things and reposting them or changing them up just a bit. And it's nice to have at least something, you know, I feel, I feel like it's nice to have at least something to post. But I also have noticed that my original content does way better. Like it does better n numerically. It gets more interaction, gets more shares and stuff like that. So I'm trying to find that right balance, you know? And I think finding that balance when it comes to that is pretty, pretty important. And that way I can keep my content original and try to come up with more ideas. So let me know if there's something that you guys specifically want to see too, for sure. If you want to speak, see more meal things from me, then I can definitely get into that. If you want to see more technique form stuff, if you want to see more different types of workouts and things like that, or workout compilations, workout tips, uh, whatever work, whatever is going to help you, I think the most is going to be whatever I'd like to post as much as I can too, for sure. Uh, but yeah, as far as, you know, balance, balancing that out is great. A lot of people are like, Oh, no balance. You know, like you want to, just grind it out and like, okay, well, I get that, I get that, but you wanna have some some sort of balance to where your content's getting better and improving at the same time. So that it's not A, the same thing over and over again, B, it's not gonna underperform, and C, you can, you know, track your progress and make progress. Kind of the same thing with the gym, same thing with the gym. You wanna, you kinda wanna self-analyze yourself. That's one thing that this application has helped me a lot. It's called Levels. I've mentioned it in the past but it's a way for me to log my workouts and log how many reps I did, or at least how many, it's hard to track failure, right? You can't really track failure. So yeah, anyway, you can't put like 0.5 sets or 0.5 reps or whatever, but it's, I think tracking your, tracking your workouts and tracking your macros, I think those are the two big keys that I can, definitely a test like a test for because tracking your macros you're going to make sure you're getting the right amount of nutrients right amount of calories proteins fats carbohydrates and not overdoing your calories as far as the numbers game goes or making sure that you're overdoing your calories enough so that you know you're in a surplus right i think that's also another thing and if you're just starting your lifting journey kind of figuring out your body whether or not it's going to burn if you have a higher metabolism you're obviously going to burn weight off at a quicker pace. So that's gonna help you kind of figure out what type of surplus you need to be in or like what maybe some days are more, maybe some days are less. And I mean, I used to do like a rule of thumb, like for bulking, especially if I was doing a rule of thumb, it was eat until you're full and then eat a little bit more each meal. But at the same time, you you could be hurting yourself. You could get be, You could be getting extra volume for no reason. You know what I mean? You could be getting extra, extra calories for no reason and that kind of is just like pointless at the same time and you could be eating for longer for no reason too so you might as well track right might as well track start off tracking if you can and then also get in a good habit of logging your workouts is an awesome awesome thing too i think that's going to help you track your volume and when you can progressively overload add sets add reps add weight add different workouts um you know you can kind of see everything it's good to it's good to be able to take workouts in and like sub things out, but you want to keep the same, relatively the same types of workouts going for a little bit of time. And I kind of got, the reason that I'm going on about that today too, is because I kind of got, a, I watched a YouTube video 
uh, by Jeff Nippert. I think he just posted it today. Today is what? I think it's the 28th. He posted it either today or yesterday. And he was talking about like progressive overload and tracking your, tracking your, you're tracking your progress so you can get stronger and get bigger and get, if your goal is that, right? If your goal is something, if your goal is something other than hypertrophy, yes, you should still track it. You know, if, if you want muscular endurance, see how many reps you can do for this specific workout, then definitely track that. If you're power lifting, of course, you're going to want to track your lifts and see if your one rep max is increasing slowly, but surely over time and see how you're, you know, do more of the calculations behind to behind like your working sets for repetitions. Like, okay, for a bench, maybe 60 to 70% rep range uh, for your of your one rep max you want to do for your weight. See if you can hit that for like three to five reps, clean, strong, and then go for a one repetition maximum. So you can keep slowly like adjusting. But yeah, tracking I think is super important, both your food and both of, um, both your food and both your workouts. Because it's gonna give you a good indication if you are on the right track. And I think in this day and age, if you want to make a difference, there's so much ability for data available and so much ability to gather gather data. Gather data. Gather data. That you can you can do these things, right? You can put in all the work and put in all the effort and put in the hours and then start to track it. And once you track it, you can kind of know where you're going wrong and learn from your mistakes, which is another, I think, big thing that applies to everything in life. If you can learn from your mistakes and learn from, from your failures, you won't make those same mistakes again. You'll avoid making bigger mistakes than the ones that you made. And then also you can learn, you can, you can uh, learn how to adapt into different situations just from those mistakes too. So like learning from your mistakes and taking as much as you can from them, I think is the most important thing, especially as you're getting older and you're growing up into this life and you're like, dang, bro, why do I keep messing up? Just learn from your mess ups, learn from your mess ups, try not to make the same mistake again. And that's how you will slowly progress, you know? And I, I feel like you want to make long-term progression learning from your mistakes and ga gathering that data as well. It's a whole, it's a whole data thing. You know, the more and more experiences you have, the better and better you'll get at something or the better and better you'll be able to like function in that scenario or that situation. I think that's something that goes overlooked sometimes. You know, you, you don't want to forget that making mistakes is totally okay. And those mistakes are good in a sense that the more and more things that you like mess up you can gather that as data and then not do it again in the future so it slowly becomes more and more accurate it's like a graph like you're slowly going more and more accurate as you get to your goal and then at some point you're making so little mistakes and then we don't want to we want to avoid big spikes as we <laughs> as we make those like as we make the progress you know you don't want to you don't want to for example skip four weeks of training and lose all of that data that you gathered. It's kind of rough, you know what I mean? So making mistakes, learning from them, and analyzing them using quote unquote data methods is probably gonna be your best bet here. Oh my gosh, I have to freaking look for parking now. That's okay, we're gonna find parking. It's gonna be a great day. We're gonna film some shorts. I think I'm filming a short on leg drive today for bench press. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not incorporating leg drive into your bench press, you're not gonna get your bench press up. I hate to break it to you. Now, there's a difference between, there's a difference between leg drive and squatting the bench press bar, right? Squatting the barbell bar and pushing up way too much through your legs. I think when you say drive, people will mistake it for going straight like upwards, but in reality, you're actually pushing slightly back as you squeeze your glutes, right? You're pushing through your heels and through your toes. Kind of depends on what type of person. Some people will be more on their toes rather than anything. I like, I personally am on my, my toes more. I think it gives me a better arch and gives me more power. Uh, but you can add more surface area with your heels on the ground too. Anyway, I'll hopefully talk about that when I film it. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the goal. And you guys can check that short out. But yeah, we're gonna get into the gym right now. We got a back day. I'm gonna film some shorts first. So I don't, you know, I still have to eat my pre, or get my, drink my pre-workout. And then I'm gonna have a couple of 
What am I gonna have today? I'm gonna have a couple of Rice Krispies, bro. A couple of Rice Krispies. I'm all carved up too, cause I made fried, I made like a fried rice thing this morning. Really good, no oils. I mean, it had Pam, Pam oil spray. Quite tragic, but zero calories, all right? Zero calories. <laughs> and super, it was just rice, egg whites and eggs. I actually really enjoyed it. It was pretty good. But then again, I'm here eating mostly just like chicken and rice and turkey and like blandish, blandish things. And then also like this here and there, all right? Everything in moderation. I know that Eddie Abu said something about like everything in moderation too. When he says that, I'm saying like you should moderate how often you have trash food, okay? And how much of it to moderate how much of it. You can have, you could have some chocolate here and there, bro. I, on God, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna drive you crazy. You can have a little something here and there, but the majority of the time you want to moderate what you're eating so you can hit your goals. You know what I mean? I think that's the W thing. All right. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna get some rice krispies down. I'm gonna have just an original one, and then the next random one. I'm gonna have a chocolate one. Chocolate ones are pretty mid. Anyway, we're gonna get into it. Peace. I'll catch you guys in the gym. Let's go. Let's get into this back day. We're gonna start with pull-ups, of course, as per usual. So, I also brought my, what is that? I don't even know what it's called, but it's gonna add, it's gonna help me add some weight to my pull-ups, which is gonna be sick. Of course, last, I think last vlog I was talking about progressive overload and getting into that. We're, we brought the weightlifting belt, so we're gonna attach, uh, attach, I think, just a 25 today, see how it feels. Probably for the like, last few sets. And use the first two to kind of warm up, and then, Hopefully get some good blood flow here too. Let's get it. A little bit sun too. Can you close grip? Ah, oh, no. Okay. Yeah, we need a close grip. Yeah, sure. Nice. Good set of 12, and then the next couple, we'll start with the, start with the weights. Should be good to progressively overload it. That. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna get the weight belt in. Let me make sure you guys are in frame too. Yeah, it's perfect, cool. All right, we're gonna add the, add the weight belt to get some progressive overload on the, on the pull-ups. Great for dips too. But I need to get something in here because I think I'm getting a little too strong for, <laughs> for just body weight pull-ups. They're too, they're too easy, so we're gonna progress a little bit here. And toss this around. Low-key use uses, kinda hate them, but it's okay. It's gonna add a 25 today. If I can get like 10 would be awesome, 12 would be even better. Just gotta push ourselves here. Ugh. We got like, what, good, a good 11 clean ones? We'll take that, all right. Maybe like, if I can get one more set with that, it'll be golden. One or two more sets, we'll see. All right, here we go, set number two. Hopefully we can get a good amount off. Don't want to get in their way when they're pressing. If we can get like, good 10, 11. 11 would be sick, but uh, I don't know. I can feel, I can feel the burning. Is this? Two. Yeah, 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 just yeah. Yeah. we're gonna do one more weighted set, one or two more weighted sets. <sighs> 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 That's 10. Yeah, we'll take 10. Okay. Next set. Probably the last set we'll do unweighted. So just normal body weight is like 186 right now. And then we'll move on to, it's either a Yates row, Yates? I think it's a Yates or a shrug. Uh, let's do, we're gonna do a Kelso shrug up at the top. I love those, for the traps, for like upper trap or movements. All right. All right, next up we got Kelso shrug. It's gonna be 
more upper trap bias. Some people just do like regular shrugs for their traps, but that's gonna target most of your upper traps. We wanna go for more of that mid trap activation. So we're gonna go focus on the stretch and do like more of a shrug thing about pulling your scapula together at the same time. I think that's the main goal. So we're gonna go, yeah, I don't know, probably like 60s, 65s, just feel the tension here. So let's get that, let's get those up. Start tossing on straps after this workout here for like the pull downs and the rows and stuff. Here we go. So that's definitely perfect for the upper traps, but I think the hardest part is like making sure that you're not focusing too much on pulling through your biceps and your shoulders and really focusing on that, on that pinch back. Kind of like you're opening your chest up, but with your, sh with your scapula pulling in the opposite direction. Okay, here we go, last set of, uh, last set of Kelso shrugs. You know what they say. Last set, last set, here we go. Probably go for either 10 to 12 is the goal. 10 to 12 would be awesome. So just gotta keep that contraction and keep the stretch. Most important thing is the stretch here. To chest support to rows, probably. Either chest support to curve rows or lat pull down. We'll see how I'm feeling. Let's see what's open. But I think I'm going to toss on straps now, too. My grip's starting to go a little bit after pull ups and that. So I want to make sure to keep the focus on the back. All right, here we go. We're doing some straight bar lat pull downs. Yes, I do love my V bar, but we got to do the straight bar, too. <laughs> Get that variation. We're going to go a little bit wider on this grip here, too. And then let's also see what weight we were at so I can kind of keep progressing um, in this workout. Let's go lat pull down. You just want to keep like either adding weight or adding sets, see what you're feeling. Okay, last was at 162 as my recorded one rep max. So let's move, let's go into 152, at least for the first set and see how we're feeling. If we feel like we can go heavier, then we're gonna do it. Of course, add straps to it. Straps are gonna make it so we can work till failure, focus just solely on our lats. Make sure we're nice and secured in here. Let's see. Yeah, let's try. Okay, let's get this on. Perfect. Let's get a good lift here. I'm gonna go for a wider grip too. I think I mentioned that already. We're gonna go a little wider because we went with the V-bar, we were close. And then also, it's good to get both width and depth in your back and in your lats. That's how you get a good physique. So we're gonna keep that going. <laughs> there you go. Just a little bit of range towards the end. So we're probably gonna light, lighten just a bit. Maybe to 132 and then add like the 210 pounds into one 
42 rather than 52. Yeah, I think that'll be the move. All right, fourth set here. We dropped it down from 152, then to 142. Oh no, third set here. We're gonna do 137. Just gonna do 137. Good to keep. I don't know, I just, I just wanted to drop my weight a little bit just because I like, wanna keep in that good golden rep range of like eight to 12. And I feel like I was kind of struggling in there. It's good to struggle, but I wanna get some full reps into partials is my kind of my goal. And then keep contracting and keep focusing on the stretch position of my last two. And really get that carry feel. All right, here we go. That was a little bit, that was more eight. That was more eight reps, eight clean reps. But towards the end, we're getting a little bit weaker. I think it's because I'm really focusing on that eccentric motion. I think the more and more you focus on the eccentric, the better and better that's like, gonna work on the muscle you're trying to target and kind of keep tearing it apart. Whew. Okay, here we go, last set. Dropping down to just 112. Pretty gas, I think this is set, this is gonna be set number five, I think. Yeah, set number five at 112. We're gonna go for like, pretty, try to keep everything kind of clean here. Clean form into partials. Good body grip, let's go over here first. Keep that focus, keep that grind on. I'm so gas right now, but we're almost there. We got, I think we have like Yates row after this, which is one of my personal things. I'm gonna do some sort of like, Probably straight bar pull down. Straight bar push down for triceps. Perfect, all right. Good last set, let's see what's up. Next on the menu here. Uh, we just did cable lap pulled out, no? Oh no, I already added that. I did a unilateral thing on accident. Yates row. Yeah, Yates row. I'm gonna do a Yates row next. And then we'll probably do it with that straight bar. All right, let's get it. Okay, we got a Yates row. Probably one of my favorite versions of rows. If you get your traps, your lats, everything, especially if you're shrugging properly and stretching properly. So let's get into it. You kind of aim for your stomach here. It's a cable you throw though, so I avoid that. Avoid the instability of a barbell and kind of that, that shrugging motion. We don't want that. And the thoracic spine. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's stick at that weight. Is that 132? Maybe like four sets. I'll move on to some tricep stuff too. Let's get it. We need a couple more sets for the vlog. All right, we got a couple more sets of a couple more sets of uh, Yates rows and things like that. Okay, toss it in. But we're gonna do. I want to get this shirt off, so we're gonna see how we're doing today. Hope it's a little better than last back day. Not bad. I'm gonna put my hair up too. 
we've also been working out for like an hour or an hour and a half, maybe. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Okay, back to the ace rows. Probably do two more sets here. Two more sets will be good. And then move on to some tricep stuff. Oh. Let's go, baby. Okay, one more set. And then close grip bench. No, probably do maybe some close grip push ups and cobra push ups, combination of those two. And then we'll move on to straight bar pull downs. You gotta do the foundations. Close grip chest press and close grip bench and close grip, close grip push ups. Such good foundational exercises for your tries. All right, let's keep going. Alrighty, we're gonna toss in some foundational tricep stuff. It's good to keep it, keep the foundations, right? <laughs> keep up with them as much as you can. I don't do them too, too much because it's harder to progressively overload triceps and you could be, you could be there for hours. Like at a certain point, you're gonna just be going <laughs> push-ups for like, I don't even know. You could probably get like 40, 50, 60 of these in a row after a little while, you know? So we're gonna keep, but you gotta keep them in there. It's good to get blood flow too, good warm up as well. All right, let's do some close grip. <sighs> In the cobra. Be surprised. Like after, if you don't do them every single day, they're very still challenging and you can make some good progression out of them. But yeah, combination, close grip into Cobras, definitely give it a go. All righty, you guys. Um, I had to end a little bit early today. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. But one of the workers came up to me just had mentioned that, um, you know, just can't really have a tripod. Not, not really have a tripod, but it's like, we don't want it to become a problem. So kind of just introducing the fact that it could potentially become a problem. Um, I get it. Yeah, I get it. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to have to figure that one out. But yeah, I mean, I finished off some sets, finished off some triceps stuff. So we pretty much got everything we needed to do in just a little, uh, just a little disappointed right now. <laughs> it's all right. You know, these things kind of happen. It's just tough, man. Sometimes you just, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes you just wonder if you're on the right path. I think that's a little bit hard to question sometimes. <laughs> like, doing content for a while now, it's just cut these, I don't know. I know it's like setbacks come, setbacks go. You solve through them and you push through, which is probably what I'm gonna do in this situation. <laughs> either you know keep keep that keep that gym membership there and do short form content or to speak to some other people that I know for a gym and see what I can do from there but yeah it's pretty tough just feels you know in the moment I know it's gonna be it's gonna be fine it's just in the moment it's kind of just disappointing 
it's just disappointing. Makes you question a little bit here and there if you're on the right path for your life. And I don't know, I th the reason, the, the way that I think I know that I want to do content creation is because of moments like these where it's like, if I run into an obstacle, I become extremely passionate about it. <laughs> And I'm gonna try and find a way to work around it and try and find a solution, which is what you gotta do, right? So we'll, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, we'll figure out something, whether it be a different gym or just keep doing it. It wasn't a necessarily like stop doing, stop using the camera. It was more of like, this could become a problem. We don't want other people bringing their tri tripods in and stuff like that, which I get, but I don't know if a lot of people are gonna bring them in, you know, and I'm always really respectful, at least I try to be. And of course, I'm more than willing if somebody wants to get their workout in or ask me anything, like I cut, you know, cut those people, I can cut those people out of the pictures, out of the, out of the videos and stuff like that. Oh, I think it's my friend Bella. Anyway, she goes to my gym too there, homies. But yeah, so we'll, we'll have to figure something out here. We'll have to figure something out. Maybe just keep doing short form content for now. We'll see what that entails. Um, or maybe just do short format this one gym and then the long format a different gym, whether it be Gold's or uh, this other gym that I work at too. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what we do. It's kind of a setback, you know? But when these setbacks pre present themselves, I think <laughs> right now that's helping me a lot is kind of talking through it and talking through a setback. And we'll see what we can do from there and just keep going with it, you know? Minor setback, minor setback. We're gonna keep going with it, we're gonna keep pushing through and hopefully find another gym we can film at, film this long form content. I mean, I te they technically haven't said I can't, right? They haven't said anything about it, but I, I don't want it to be a problem and I don't want to cause problems for the people that own this gym because I've been there for a long time and they've been quite quite good people to me. It's just a little tough, man. It's a little tough. Also, a fact if I ha if I do have to make a change, it's just like financially a whole nother thing. So yeah, financially a whole nother thing. This 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 that and the other. But who knows? Maybe maybe it's time to make that change. Sometimes change is good, but I don't know. I don't know where else I where I, where else I would film. I don't know. I don't know what type of like. There's no gym specifically in my area, like Zoo Culture or something like that, that focus specifically on those content creators. Where you're like, oh yeah, you could totally do that. Totally film. So, gonna have to figure this one out. It's all right though. You know, we got a good workout in for the most part back was really great. All the workouts that I did was really good. If I don't post for a bit here, it's because I'm trying to figure out my situation. <laughs> it's not because I don't want to get daily uploads in. I've been trying to. It's quite short lived. I think this is number four. Uh, yeah, we got, we made it through one back day and then push day and a leg day. And now another pull day, another, another back and tries. But yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, a good workout overall, just, you know, got towards the end, came in. It's not like, it's not his fault or anything. He's just delivering bad news. It kind of just kills the vibe, you know, it kills my vibe. Kind of sat in my car for a little bit and just did some thinking about, I don't know, you just ask, you just ask yourself if you're on the right path sometimes. That's pretty, pretty, pretty rough shit. <laughs> it's all right though, you know? We ain't doing any crying over here. We just, <laughs> we're just chilling. Just gotta get through it. It's tough though, man. All right, I have a client, I think in 30 minutes. So I gotta, I gotta just continue talking through this mindset and get back into my my positive state, you know? Not every single day can be perfect. 
and there's going to be these setbacks as you go towards your goals. It's going to make you question. It's going to make you question everything. Even if it's a small thing, <laughs> this is not that big of a deal, you know. But it makes you question a lot if you're on the right path and if you're doing the right thing. Um, you know, I think, I hope, I hope I am. I feel like I bring a lot of inspiration to a lot of people. But I don't want to become a hindrance for other people too. Shit's rough, man. I get it though. I want to be respectful of people's space and of people's gym time too. The gym's a great place for me. Like, it lets me release all my stress too, so the last thing I want it to be for other people is like a place where they become stressed if I'm filming. So, you know, I get it. I respect it. I respect it. It's just, I, I want this. I want to do content creation. It's my passion. Connecting with people is my passion. Being able to like bring that positive mindset is my passion to people. And social media is such a great tool for that. But at the same time, there's that, you know, it's just an obstacle of do I have this people in my, do I have this person in my shot? Do I, I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to make them feel that way. So, you know, it's just normal things, just normal things. We did a huge, huge thing though. We uh, got our first vlog out, which was awesome. We got some, sh we got a short film. Hopefully it comes out okay. I have to look at the footage when I get back home. But hopefully it came out. It was good. On, it was, we talked about leg drive, which was solid. But yeah, dude, now we have a client. I think client in 30 minutes, super excited to see her. We're good. Super happy for her, super, super excited for her progress too. It's tough though, I wish, like, I wish I had my own private space to work out, but at the same time, it's great to bring the, the dynamic of other people too. So I don't know, man. I don't know, we're gonna figure, this, figure it out. I try not to let it destroy my psyche for the rest of the day and my mental. I try not to let anything do that, really. <laughs> but sometimes, man, when you're questioning everything, it's when it gets a little rough, you know? I'll let this bus go ahead of me. <sighs> well, it's all right, though. We're gonna figure out, figure out a different gym. Yeah, last thing I want is want the gym to be is a place for people to not feel comfortable and safe. It's tough though, cause like, it's just hard, it's hard. It makes you think about if you're doing the right thing for yourself and the others around you. <sighs> Shoot, man. <laughs> That's some deep stuff, dude. I don't really get, I don't usually get emotional about these things either. It's just like, damn, I just don't know what to do now. It's a minor setback. I don't live in LA, so I can't go sign up for zoo culture. <laughs> I would, but I can't. There's another gym that I work at that's open 24 hours. But it's not like I can just must, I mean, I can muster up, but I can't muster up a ton of energy at like 3 a.m. when no one's awake to go down there, so. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. Maybe I'll, I'll probably talk to the owner of the other gym that I work at and see if he's comfortable with me filming that type of footage. Because it's, you know, they, people want it to be quiet in the gym that I'm at right now, I guess. Or the owners do at least for right now, I don't know. Nobody like specific, com specifically complained, but we'll see. And yeah, probably do a different gym talk to them show him what type of content i'm trying to film and if he's like yeah it's going to be disturbing and disruptive then find another gym find another gym and another one and another one and another one keep going until i can't until i find a gym that's like yeah we have a lot of different content creators here that do that type of stuff so it's all right 
just have to figure it home, figure it, figure it out. I'm almost back home. I'm gonna get ready. I got a shower real quick too. I get maybe get some food in. What time is it? Four, seven. The clock is a little off right now. Four oh four. So we're at four oh seven. Nice little reflective drive home though. Uh, hey, I, you know what's a good dub though? I finished this vlog, I finished during the daytime, which is awesome. <laughs> That's a dub. We take that as a W. That's gonna be our win for today. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna figure out, you know, we'll figure out what, where, to, where else to film, where I can film it. And make it happen, make it happen, Captain. It's just tough, you know. They don't want, uh, it's hard to do a dialogue. I mean, I wanna make sure that the videos are interesting for you guys, so I try to talk over them and be like, so yeah, this is what I'm doing. Uh, it's not like I'm over the top infomercial type stuff. It's kind of just me talking to another person, which is you guys. I'm just trying to talk to another person. But you know, it's kind of like, it's pretty mid, it's pretty mid. It's all right though, it's all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, sorry I cut it short. I didn't film my tri the rest of my tricep workout. Sorry it happens. We'll go hit some more triceps another time. Um, you know, keep positive. And thank you guys so much for watching. Been your boy Michael or Leone. I'll catch you guys in the next one, hopefully as soon as possible. And as always, before I go, be strong, be courageous, be Leon. Peace out. Take care.